Usually you get load ups in those type of scenarios, but he got the best animation possible. Let's get back over to this overtime. 58-58 between the Mavs and the Heat. Mavs will start with it first. Future has done a great job in front of Kenny, and they got to call timeout. That was going to be another turnover. Yeah, you're starting to see, right, that the guards kind of took the show early as a main focus and some of that center play. Now the locks are starting to take over, and they're, they're really getting a lot of our attention. The big plays that Zay made to be able to give the Mavs the lead, the reason that they've been able to get into that overtime scenario. The last couple defensive possessions that we've seen from future clutch as well. I'm expecting to see some excitement coming up from both these lockdowns the rest of the way. Future Clutch, one of the best stories in the league. Comes from a humble background, sends all his money back to his family that he makes here in the NBA 2K League. Dietrich on the run out. Defense has led the points for Miami. They lead by two. Time for Dallas to go to work. Kenny thought he had a look. Oh. Legit has not shot the ball here in Indiana yet. Kenny. And that rattles in and out. Good rebound by Legit, though. Back out to Kenny. And Kenny splashes it. Hey, that was a way to redeem yourself if you're Legit. I mean, he, he tried to flare up. That's why he ended up moving. Puto State put it with an open corner shot. But for him to get the offensive rebound, Kenny Zeus never twice got some redemption there, too. One point lead for the Mavs. Future clutch going baseline. He'll rock it home. Miami back up one. Let's check in with Harris. Scott, the Heat are going to need a big overtime period from Sav. The ball is inevitably going to be in his hands with the game on the line. Big steal there from Future. So far from Sav, he's looking a whole lot like tip-off Sav. 4 of 15 from the field, 2 of 11 from 3. He's going to get a shot here to close this game out. Let's see if he can catch it in. He's done a great job distributing the basketball tonight. 11 assists for Sav, but you mentioned he has not found the touch from the field. There's four field goals. Ten points. I mean, that's the crazy thing, too, is like those, I feel like those ten points came in like that first quarter and when both the guards yeah. on either side were going good. And then, yeah, it just hit this plateau of, of chucking up shots. And like maybe you're thinking you're open, but he was working out pretty deep for a lot of them. Uh, but they have had a you know good contest up, but that's why the assist numbers are up there too. He's been doing a good job of facilitating over towards Beast Move. I think he had six of the first eight points. <laughs> Only had four cents. Sav up top to Beast Move, bang! Right on cue of what we were saying. He he was boxed up. That was looking like a dead possession there for a second, but then you're able to get the off-ball motion to work with Beast Move on a wide-open catch and shoot. Up by four now. Kenny answers back with a three. A little too much jumping coming out there from Future Clutch. And finally, Kenny's starting to get the timing down from that shot. It was looking worrisome in that fourth quarter when he hit the, both lates. Came out here, shot a slightly late, and then finally gets the greens. Look at that patience by Saucy. We had a three-point ball game. Kenny Zeus with 23 points. 12 assists to go right down to sick, and he gets an and one. Oh, man. He's got 16 points, nine rebounds, and a chance for the old fashioned three point play. And we're tied again. That's a tough one because they almost force fed it down there. If Teacher could have pushed the button before, it could have probably gotten a tip. And then going up with the jump, and then getting a foul call, too. Seen a lot of and ones. <laughs> Got a few four point plays this season. B smooth, that's deep. Rebound by sick. Timeout Mavs. They're out of timeouts with 28.9 to go here in overtime. Let me just see what they how much time they end up burning off the clock here, because we saw what ended up forcing the overtime, right? It, you you like to be that team's like, cool, let's give up a two. If it's a tie ball game, we, we like to control our own destiny. So maybe they try to go quick and take whatever they can and then cool, give the Heat what they want and let's put the fate of the game in our hands again to see if we can try to hit a game-winning shot. About six seconds separate 
the shot clock of the game clock. Tied at 67. Ooh. Kenny had a look. Goes down to sick, and we got goaltending on Saucy. Uh, that's tough, too, because if it didn't actually go through the block animation, I think Sick was missing that layup. It was looking like it was going to be awkward. They trail by two. Ten seconds left in the game. And there's the foul. Oh, let's put him in the bonus. They did not have a foul to give. Sav will go to line. He makes the first. See, that's the conversation we just had, though, right? Is that like, cool if they just go out there and get whatever score they want? He come down here, you can risk it. Cool. Like now we're gonna go to double overtime. We're gonna win the ball game. Well, they got the ball in their possession. I don't hate the strategy. Final seconds. They go right down to sick for the win. He leaves 1.4 on the clock. Mavs up by two. Timeout, Miami. And when you need a bucket, who better to go to than the OG Masher? The man in season one, when he was drafted, he said he always felt like he was the best center, that he should have been taken higher. But he lives for those type of moments down there in the paint. Well, we have another B-smooth heroic moment. He's done it so many times over his five-year career. 1.4, they go right down to deep trick. It's blocked! Sick! With a game-winning bucket and then the game-winning block. Mavericks are going to be moving on. Heat check gaming. See the sportsmanship with their journey coming to an end. Let's take a look at it again, Dirk. Yeah, mm. It's just tough, too, because like as soon as you get in there, you can't even throw up a pump fake if you're Dietrich. So, it's such an easy read for six.